ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The entire situation is creepy and weird. So, for y'all who don't know, there was rumors a few weeks ago that the game, that, excuse me, Evelyn Lozada's daughter, Shanice, was pregnant. So this was like a few weeks ago. I think Jackie was kind of blasting them because Evelyn Lozada came out and said that Jackie was selling coochie back in the day. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I never understand women who sit there and worry so much about other women's private parts, especially how they got into the game. Like, you done been married to like every guy in every sport, damn near. Like, girl, bye. So Jackie was kind of blasting Evelyn and was saying something about Evelyn's daughter being pregnant by a certain rapper. So, you know, the internet started digging. And so people were saying that she was pregnant by the game. And at first it was a rumor. And then the game went and he confirmed it. So we're going to go ahead and watch this interview with the game confirming that he knocked up Shanice, who is Evelyn Lozada's daughter. But that's not where it ends. The whole thing is just weird. Right. Yeah, I'm expecting one one child. You one know. child. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel about that? Being- um, I, I think about it in terms of uh, like years, right? Like I'm 44, so when my when my new child is 21. I'll be 65, right? Right. And that seems kind of old until you start thinking about who's 65 now, okay. right? And so when I think about that, I think that like, I don't know. I don't know how old like Mariah Carey is, but she has to be like 10 years older than me okay. or Jay-Z or something like that. Okay. They got to be almost like their next big birthday is probably 60. They're right. still out here looking young and looking cool. So it- you you only have one baby mom, right? No. You have two? This is, I have three. No, I know. Before, well, she's still pregnant. Right. Right. So you have well, two. There's a baby in there. So there is a baby it, in there. It's three. So okay. So two, two, three. So yeah, three. Two, one on the way. Two and a half. Two and a half. Whatever. Three. Okay. Yeah. So you have two baby moms. <clears throat> I right. thought you had one because I always seen uh, like the teacher. I don't know her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiffany. Tiffany. She's mm. older than you. She is. And then your new baby mom that's on the way. She's a lot younger than you. So it's gonna be yeah, a whole. She's a little bit in her thirties. Yeah, she's in her thirties. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how did you keep? You try to twenty me. I thought she was like twenty five. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, she's in her thirties. Right. Yeah, I'm expecting. Okay. I don't even know where to start with this situation. The game is just weird. He's just weird and creepy. Okay, so what's more weird about this, right? Granted, she's 30, so she's grown. But the problem is the game, first baby mama Tiffany and Evelyn Lozada were damn near best friends. So you literally watched Shanice grow up. They've been close for years. That's low-key how Tiffany and the game, because remember back in the day, Tiffany and the game, they had their own reality TV show. And that is how they were kind of introduced into reality television was from her relationship with Evelyn Lozada on Basketball Wives that she was able to kind of get Tiffany into the reality TV show space. So everybody's been on Twitter talking about this. Let me find this picture then back in the day here. Okay, here it is. So it says here, even if Evelyn, okay, so somebody wrote, engaged for years, had two of his children. After you break up, he gets with your he gets your friend's daughter pregnant. The game is a creep. Then they said here, even if Evelyn and his baby mama Tiffany weren't friends, this situation is still weird. The game is four years younger than Evelyn. Like, why would you have a baby with a man? who couldn't, who could have went to high school with your mother. So that's Tiffany. This was Shawnee's Shawnee. This is Tiffany, the games is baby mama. And this is Evelyn when she was pregnant with her son. So this was about, I think her son has to be about eight or nine now, but they've known each other even before then. And now she is knocked up by him. But now what's even weirder. 
Who remembers back in the day when they were going through their separation? Remember, the game was putting hands on Tiffany. Not to be messy, I just don't forget shit. Game was whooping Tiffany's ass. Tiffany had to call the police. Police were called. She had to get restraining orders. And after, you know, the game put hands on Tiffany, Tiffany had to go. So let me share this real quick. Remember, she had to get restraining orders. The game ordered to stay away from ex-fiance after alleged attack. He had put hands on her in front of the kids. Um, it was a bunch of stuff. But what is very weird is that when she was going through all this with the game, she had to then get help from Evelyn Lozada's counselor. Because remember, when Evelyn was dating Ocho Cinco and Ocho Cinco headbutted her, and so she had to go to counseling. So when Tiffany and the game were breaking up because the game put hands on her, she reached out to Evelyn's coach. You can't make this shit up. So you can't tell me Shanice was not there knowing what was going on with Tiffany. This was Evelyn Lozado's, Lozada's coach at the time to give her counseling. So let me go ahead and read this. This is from like maybe 10 years ago. Tiffany Cambridge recently reached out to Evelyn Lozada's old life coach to help fix her life just days after filing a restraining order against on-again, off-again fiancé, The Game. The mother of two decided to bring a professional celebrity life relationship coach, Tony Gaskins. Thank you at Tony Gaskins for everything, all the talks, words of encouragement, guidance, tough love, greatly appreciated, along with the following picture. You've helped me so much on my journey. You're not only my life coach, you're my friend. She met him through Evelyn because she was being abused, and now Evelyn's daughter is pregnant by the game. Does anybody remember that? Am I the only loser that just doesn't forget shit? Y'all remember Tony Gaskins? I haven't heard that name in years. He's been on all the reality TV shows. Because I used to watch Basketball Wives. I was a big fan of Basketball Wives. Do y'all remember that? Okay. Now. Yes. What's... Okay, good. So a few people remember. Now what's even weirder is... And again, we're not saying that he can't knock her up. She's grown. She's of age, right? Hell, half of us didn't care about Drea and, and uh, the little boy. She done knocked up because he's of age, even though it's, it's weird. The problem is the proximity to Tiffany. And it makes me think, like, how long had you been looking at Shanice? And when did y'all start smashing? Had y'all been smashing since she became legal? Or is this something new? It's just weird. Because that means the whole time you're looking at your current fiance's BFF's daughter. She's been around him for years. Even when we go back to that picture, if we go back 10 years ago, because I think the little brother has to be about 10. And like I said, she's known him even before then. So I believe she was probably around game when she was about 18, 19. And remember... One child, you know, one child. Yeah. Recently, the game had the nerve to be on some type of To Catch a Predator show with Vitali. Who remembers this shit? I said, you can't make this up. This happened recently. Let me find it. Hold on. Who remembers when the game was trying to catch a predator? I said, the audacity. Ah, here we go. This was just the day after my, well, it happened on my birthday. Because when I seen this come up my feed, I said, wait, what? The game is out here putting hands on child predators? Interesting. So we're going to watch this, him and Vitaly. And people drug his ass. Do y'all remember this? <laughs> Hold up. Let me share my screen. This happened just last, well, two week, two, three weeks ago. Let me see if I can go to bed here. Maybe I should 
Let me see if I can make it bigger on X. Okay, here we go. What's going on? What's going on here? Nothing. How old are you? Nothing. How old are you? 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 You see, he threw some type of, I don't know, cream pie in his face, pushed him, put hands on him. I'm going to replay. That's the game that comes in and attacks the man. The white dude is Vitali, who to me, he don't have a lot of room to talk either, child. If you know his history on YouTube. So we're going to watch it again from the beginning. Pay attention. What's going on here? Nothing. How old are you? Nothing. How old are you? 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 I'm 22. You're 22? Yeah. How old is he? No, no. No, I am. What's going on? I just wanted to. You just wanted to do what, homie? I think we should put like his head in the toilet. Now, bro. You got a sick now, bro. You got a sickness, bro. You need to kill yourself. And this is part of your. This is part of your healing, man. Yeah, like, what's going on with you? What's going on in your bro, mind, bro? Just answer him. Just. You have a sickness, bro, and you need to off yourself. What's going on with you? Let's continue watching. What's going on through your mind? No one's going to hurt you if you're being honest with us. Just, just what's going through your mind? Why did you want to sleep with a 15-year-old boy? Just tell us. I didn't. Just tell us. You're not going to get out of it, homie. Look, hey, look at me, bro. Look at me, homie. Stop looking down. Look at me. I'm looking at you. So what's going through your mind, bro? I don't know. I was just... You're tripping, right? You made a fucked up decision? Yeah. You feel good about it? No, horrible. What do you do after this? Do you do it again? You find other little kids? No, no. No. No, I'm... Bro, you got it. You can't, bro. That's not cool, bro. It's just not cool. Hey, look. All right, so y'all just watched that video. And this is very much real. People saying this is state. No, it's real. People started dragging the game. When I tell you, again, nobody's excusing the pedo trying to meet a 15-year-old boy. That's disgusting. But, okay, great message, wrong messenger. So people are like, well, I'm confused because wasn't this you finger-fucking uh, India Love when she was, you know, finger-fucking some barely legal puss back in the day in the park? So this is why this article is out uh, on the Atlanta Star. Let me share this here. So people started going in on him. And they're like, okay, you were dating India Love in 2014. You were 35. She had just turned 18. But trust and believe, he had been talking to her way before she was 18. They came out publicly once she turned 18, just like Wilma Valderrama, okay? Um, so a lot of people were trying to remind him that you're weird, and then he's always acting super obsessed over his own daughter. But yeah, so people started bringing up these old pictures on Twitter. <laughs> the game with India in the park. Remember, he made her smell her uh, smell his finger. This was the game, and people were calling him out. And this was like people were acting like, oh, this was just normal. People were calling him out back then because here's an old shade room post. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on, let me take it off of that. Okay, this is from 10 years ago. From 2014. So let me share this with y'all. Rapper of the Game finally goes public with his new 18-year-old girlfriend, India Westbrook. So he had posted the picture. So look at the comments here. From 10 years ago. Wow, this is truly sad. How would you feel if a 34-year-old man was dating his daughter, Callie, at 18? Creepy and some sick mess. This young girl has dated around also. What type of parents does she have? This is a true case of a thought that he was talking about. The game truly doesn't have morals. 
Miss Cambridge do dodged a bullet with him. Notice I said woman, not girl. Because again, this is around the time he was going through the divorce. Well, not divorce, they never got married. Through the breakup with Tiffany. Let me see here. Somebody else says the game is too old to be dating that girl. If the tables were turned, he wouldn't like his daughter dating a 34-year-old man. Where is this girl's parents? She still is at home with them. She's not an adult. Somebody else says, regardless if 18 is legal, she's still a child to a 34-year-old. I doubt she's really mature, more like really thirsty and ready. He just couldn't deal with the mature woman that will hand his ass to him when needed. Shake my head, these people these days, especially these celebrities. Kylie and Tyga. Okay? So, to me, it is very hypocritical. You know what I'm saying? That he's sitting here shoving cream pies and pedo's faces and going off and saying they should harm themselves. When people were calling himself, when people were calling him out years ago for dating India Love, when she had just turned 18. But like I said, I'm sure they were already dating and messing around long before that. And the fact that he would embarrass her knowing that paparazzi was there and he would sit there and finger smash her in the park in front of everyone and then make her smell his finger. Like, that's just weird. That's just weird behavior. Imagine, and his daughter is now, I think she's a freshman in high school. So imagine if that was his daughter now. He'd be ready to, you know, tear somebody up behind his daughter. But yet he has no respect for other people's daughters. So him having a baby with Shanice, it, it is weird. It's just weird. But I'm not surprised because the game has been a weirdo for a long time. The whole situation is just strange. So a lot of people are, like, literally clocking his tea on that and calling him out, especially once he went viral for that pedo show. It's like, of all people, you have Vitaly in the game. Okay. Yeah. Again, nobody's saying that she wasn't of age. Yes, she's 18, right? That's legal. We get that. But what everybody's saying is that he is 34 years old, and on top of that, you could just tell he had been messing with her a lot longer. People always come out as soon as they turn 18, but he didn't meet her on her 18th birthday. They had already been talking before she was 18. Just like if you guys remember back in the day with Wilma Valderrama, when, you know, as soon as Lindsay Lohan turned 18, oh, she's my official girlfriend. They had been talking before she was 18. And I think he did the same thing to Demi Lovato, if I'm not mistaken, too. Because Wilma Valderrama definitely likes younger women. Same with Scott Disick. They'll literally come out as soon as the girl is 18, then they want to announce this is their girlfriend. But they're not meeting them on their 18th birthday. They're meeting them well before then. They're just coming out publicly once they turn 18. Okay, good, Amy Diaz. She said that he did the same thing with uh, Demi Lovato. That's what I thought as well. So, yeah, the whole situation is just crazy. Um, but, yeah, of course, Shanice is grown. Nobody's saying that she's not old enough to fuck game and have his baby. We're not talking about the age thing. We're talking about the proximity. It's just strange that that was his, that his baby's mother and her mom were damn near best friends. So you watch this young woman grow up. It's just weird. The whole thing is just weird. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.